Great morning, everybody. My name is Johannes Atlas, and welcome to an incredible episode of Morning Cup of Joe. I'm your morning energizer. To God be glory. What's up, guys? You already know what time it is. Welcome to another great episode of Morning Cup of Joe. So, this episode, I'm going to kick this off with a question. Why is it that as human beings, as people, why is it that we're always trying to fit into groups or crowds or with individuals that we know we necessarily don't belong with? We know we necessarily don't belong hanging around these group of people. But because oftentimes when you think about it, they oftentimes validate a certain area, a certain, uh, a certain area of our life. Because when you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, one of the basic needs of human beings is the need to feel loved or belong or accepted. And so because we, they, these group of people, like I said, that we know necessarily don't belong hanging around, they validate us in one way, shape, or form. And we feel comfortable in this or with these people. And that's the thing. In your comfort zone, that's where your growth stops, is in your comfort zone. Everything that you want out of life is up here, but your, com your comfort level is about here. But everything that you want out of life is outside of your comfort zone. And so if you want to get what you want out of life, you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone and get what you want. So, but I'll give you my own personal example. So, um, those of you that know, I was born with Poland syndrome. And so, I mean, you can see the difference on my hand here. And so I also don't have any chest muscle on the side of my body. So in high school, because I wanted to fit in, I wanted to, you know, hang out with the cool kids and be on the in crowd and all that stuff. I hid my hand in my pocket all the time because this thing wasn't cool to me. And so, like I said, my hand was literally always in my pocket. If you knew me from high school, you know what I'm talking about. My hand was always in my pocket because like I said, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to, you know, hang around with, hang around, you know, with everybody. And so, but because this was, it was, but it was from being teased and being made fun of. And so I hid my hand so I didn't have to face the reactions, face my insecurities. And so, but these people, they, the people that I hung around, they validated me in one way, shape or form. Like I said, some of the people I hung around, I knew I necessarily shouldn't be hanging around them, but they validated me in some way, shape, or form. And so I came across this quote that I feel like matched the situation at the time. It says, I used to hate not fitting in until I realized I was supposed to stand out. I used to hate not fitting in until I realized I was supposed to stand out. Everybody else is already taken. There's no need for us to try to be somebody else. Be you. And that's the thing. It's like, I had to learn to be myself. And that's the thing we all have to learn is to be ourselves. We are, there's only one of you. There is only one of you. Everybody else is already taken. There's no need for us to be like somebody else because they're taken already. So be you. Be the best version. Be, be the best authentic version of you. And so when you're the best version of you, you're going to find those people that are just like you. Because when you're you, God's going to allow you to cross paths with those people that are just like you. And that's the thing. It's like when we try, we're, we're, we don't necessarily act like who we are. We don't be the authentic version of us now. And so we come across those people that are that we're faking to be like. And so when we fake to be like these people, we keep coming across those people that we're faking to be like. But when you be the best version of you, God, like I said, God's going to allow you to cross paths with those people that are just like you. And so there's, but it's dangerous conforming. It's dangerous trying to be like everybody else. It's dangerous trying to be like the people that, you know, you want to be, you just claim you want to be around. And so, because like, so when you claim, when you conform to average, that's why the Bible says, do not conform to this world. When you conform to average, you end up being average. You end up with average results. And so when you look at the, when you look at average, you know, most people have a nine to five that they hate going to. A lot of people are broke. They're unsatisfied. They're unhappy. And so if you fight to be average, if you fight to hang around average, you know what you're going to get. But like I said, that's the thing you got. You're not average people. You're not an average person. Oftentimes we just have too many examples of average. And so you end up being average. You end up being just like everybody else. But you have to be the best version of you. Be the authentic version of you. Don't conform. Don't try to be just like everybody else because you're not, you're not like everybody else. You are, there's only one version of you. There is only one version. You know, there's only, you're the only one with your fingerprint. Even if you have a twin, identical twin, there is only one version of your fingerprint. You are an authentic creation. Be you. Be the best dang you that you can be because there's only one of you. 
there's things that you are meant to do. So there's no need for you to try to fit in, to try to belong to any group, to try to fit in with anybody else, because there are people that are just like you that's wanting the things that you really want out of life. But it takes you being the authentic version of you to come across those people so that you guys can come together and make stuff happen. So go out and be the best version of you, you guys. Because this world, this world is literally waiting for you to self-actualize and for you to dominate and do the things that you're meant to do. All right? I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Take care.